So what we're going to do in this one is add the followers and following uh, both at the same time. All right, so let's get to it. So the first thing we are going to do is go to our database and go to the likes table and go to operations. And we're going to delete all the data that's inside this table. So we're going to hit truncate and click OK. OK. And so if we go to the browse, we see that uh, there's nothing in here. Now we need to add one more column for our following for who we are following and we're going to click uh, go here add one and then we're going to name it uh, following of course and then let's make sure it's text and hit OK now the reason we are doing this is this so for example if I like something uh, I like uh, somebody's profile the content ID will be here of that profile and the number of likes or the people who liked that thing. However, the problem is if I want to check, let's say I liked 10 things and they're in a row like this. Okay, each content, each one has a content ID. And then in here in the likes, there's a text. Now it would be very difficult for me to know which of these items I actually liked unless I retrieve all the records and go and check for the likes one by one in that column. Now that is time consuming for the website and we don't want to be wasting that kind of time. So instead what we're going to do is every time you like something, like you like uh, you follow a profile, we're also going to add a record of you and who you have followed. That way we can simply go to your record and check who you are following instead of having to go through all the likes in here to find that. Anyway, if that sounds confusing, uh, don't, don't mind. Uh, it's going to work out as long as you do it just the way we are doing it here. So we've added this one following and then let's go back here and add some code. Okay, so first of all, the same way we added this uh, photos uh, file here, we're going to add one for followers so it doesn't exist yet so let's go to our folder okay so in our folder we're going to copy this profile content uh, photos so let me copy and paste and then this same one we're going to uh, change it to followers like so and then we're going to open it in our text editor and then we're going to change a few things. Now we won't be needing the SQL, we won't be needing the DB, the SQL, and the images, uh, yeah, up to that part, we are not needing all that. We might need the image class because we are displaying a user down here. So we're going to remove this echo part and add include instead. In include and then we're going to include the user.php file like so okay so because we're going to be displaying who is following so we will need uh, users here and then we're going to need to collect uh, followers so it's uh, what we will do is say followers is equal to now we will get this from the get likes. Now the get likes is usually in the post class. So post underscore class. Now we haven't declared that class yet. So I'm just going to do that. Add likes. And then here we are supposed to give it um, get likes. We are getting likes for this particular uh, profile. So this is user data. Now remember, because user data, if we go to profile.php, this is the uh, this is the array that contains the user's data. That's why we're using that one. So user data, and then we are getting the user ID. Okay, and then remember, we also need to tell it what type, which is user. And then we need to declare this post class at the top here. So I'm going to say post class is equal to new posts, something like that. Let's remove the image class. If it needs to, it's going to complain or we'll remove it at the end. So followers will be the result we get here. And so that's what we're going to be checking for over here. 
so let's replace on both sides and then here follow wa like singular so follower here contains the user id and the date of the like itself so from this we're supposed to get the user row now user.php expects a specific uh let me see there user it expects this variable so let's give it that so that it doesn't complain so we're going to add it there like so is equal to and then we're going to say um, user underscore class and then we're going to say get oh sorry user class pointer get user and then we'll give it a user id to get so at this point we are getting one user and throwing it in there so that this uh, file can use that so to get the id we're getting from the follower so i'll copy that follower and paste in there and then say user id all right so which means we need the user class as well so since if we go to user.php it's actually uh, image class okay so it's not declaring the image class in here so we need that too so user class get user so i need the user class as well Ooh. okay so let me do that and change this to user and that to user uh -huh okay so so far so good it should work now let me click here oh one more thing we forgot if i go to profile.php i am supposed to go down 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 actually we don't need to declare the user class because it should be declared at the top here is it hmm, apparently not yeah it's declared as user well let's go to profile.php down down here where we are selecting what to show so on this section let's duplicate this one and do followers and then let's copy that and paste it here and change that to followers like this okay that should actually sort everything out so let me click let me refresh and there we go no images found and we are not supposed to see no images found here it's supposed to be no followers found uh -huh. okay no followers found so let's go let me refresh this oh by the way it's still showing uh, a follower here even though we truncated the thing it's because in the users table itself we actually have a likes thing here which shows a number so we have to reset those numbers as well so let me go to the sql and reset them all at once so i'm going to run a simple sql i'm going to say update users set likes is equal to zero where id is greater or equal to zero meaning uh, just do it on all records so hit that and if i go back to let's go back here and you see that there's no nothing there so what i want to do is i want to uh I want to follow this guy to follow myself so let me no followers we have found okay let's go back here and see if i follow another user mm -hmm. so if i go to their followers no followers we have found so this doesn't seem to tally with what we are doing so let me go to the likes table and make sure everything is fine okay so the likes table is fine so something is weird here 
uh, post class get likes user okay so let's go to the post class and see what's going on so if we go to classes and see post.php let us search for get likes All right, so the reason it's not happening is because this is designed to run only for posts. So make sure you remove all if statements in case there's another if statement here, remove it. You only leave if is numeric. That's the only thing that should remain. And then here where type is equal to post, put a dollar sign and write type so that whatever type that is, it's just going to replace that there so that we're just not looking for posts but everything else and i think that should sort the problem out so let me refresh there we go so this is the follower mm. let me go to this user and see who the followers are so this user is so vain he's following himself all right so so far it's working well now let's do follow wing 